Okay, um, uh, good day to all of you. I'm back here with uh, the OLS estimation for chapter number two, where uh, in these slides we're going to have this uh, the step by step. So basically, I will show you this one first, and then we will go into straight away the if you, the real thing, the real deal here, All right? So, oh, so, so, so basically, that uh, you need to know that a uh, little bit of uh, this thing whether we should include the constant term, uh, whether to have a different functional form, and then uh, lock or not lock the variable by itself. Right uh, here comes the interesting part, which is the estimation. So this is the rule of thumb, which I always believe, and I will share with you. All right, I'll straight away goes to the uh, Excel, and then straight away goes to the. Uh, estimation using eViews with the data that I have against which you're going to put in inside the ellipse all right so stay with me for a while eh? okay uh, let me go into here so this is this is the Excel file as all of you might be able to see this right this is the Excel file that I have uh, so so certainly uh, this these are the three variables that I'm going to use for for this class, right? Uh, uh, basically, because um, this is what going to happen. Uh, the so the three variables here. One is called GDP. The other one is revenue. The other one is expenditure. I have the data from nineteen seventy five until two thousand and eight. As you can see, this this section E to G is the logarithm. This is the original data. So first of all, you need to take the original data first and estimate. This is data for Sarawak actually. So so before we start eView, certainly you have to see the data and then uh, we go with the eViews. Let me find my eViews. Where is my eView? Uh, look at my desktop. Uh, so don't bother that. So this program, this eViews is actually licensed to University of Rawa, as you can see this. So basically what you need to do, uh, let me refer back to the slides here. Okay? Uh, open the eView program. Yeah, I've opened the eView program. And then... Uh, open the excel program so the excel program shows that i have uh, uh, 1975 to 2008 program so you, you just follow these slides step by steps and this video guide you will never get wrong but then again this is the repetition of what you have done last semester actually right what, what you have done last semester so there's nothing new here uh, of what you did last semester okay basically so uh, go to the eViews, uh, go here, um, uh, what you need to do now, uh, rather than opening an existing eView work file, certainly you create a new eViews work file, right? you create a new one. So this one, these are few things here that you need to talk about, which I think uh, all of you also been, but this is just a repetition, a refreshment from what you did last semester. You see dated here. You have three types of, uh, at least three types of uh, uh, data. One, you call it um, dated regular frequency. This one mostly goes to time series analysis. This one are mostly, um, in that sense, in that sense, you can say that this is cross-sectional or maybe undated, unstructured kind of, uh, 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 of data. And the other one is a panel, balance panel. Read the balance panel, right? These are one thing. The second part is that, what types of data frequency that you use, whether you are using annual, semi-annual, quarterly, monthly, and so on. Here are all the definitions. Follow this definition closely. So once you know what you're doing here, you put your date here, 1975, as I mentioned just now, 2008, and you click OK. All right, so this thing will pop up. Uh, uh, no for now. All right, this thing will pop up, and then, yeah, see? Okay. And this thing, the range and the sample of the data. Then you copy and paste here. Yeah? Copy and paste from eViews. I mean, from from Microsoft Excel. Uh, you don't have to copy the year. The year is just for your own reference. So first of all, we need to do this. Okay, copy, and then we go here. You go a uh, where you go, right? Uh, where you need to go, right? Let's go the slides. You go for the quick uh, empty group. You go for quick empty group edit series I put the cursor up here and then you can be right hand click you just paste voila that's your data right uh, which you have shown that in your uh, EV, uh, I mean uh, your econometric class also last semester this is the data 
and you're ready for estimation, right? Uh, the first thing you need to do normally, if I um, uh, were to ask uh, anyone here or, or to give that, that kind of example, is to plot. Do the plot first, right? Uh, for example, I plot this thing. I plot all these three. Or just uh, just plot GDP, for example. A graph. Uh, click on graph. And then you put on this, right? You can see that this is the data of GDP. Okay? Oh, if you want to do all three together, why not? Yeah, open as a group. And then you view as a graph. Right? Uh, you put multiple graph. And then you come out three like this. So to ensure that these things are bigger, so that you can see clearly. So this is the uh, time series plot of all the three variables of GDP, expenditure, and revenue. See how it looks like. See how it's supposed to behave in terms of the variable. Does GDP behave like this? Does expenditure behave like this? And revenue expend, uh, uh, behave like that? Those uh, from the theory that we understand, from the theory that we all understand in economics. Right, so then after you plot and correlation, we move forward. Okay, uh, save the work file. Right, you need to save this work file. Why you need to save the work file so that it's easy for you to edit uh, after this. Okay, all right, uh, it's easy for you to, to edit and do some uh, est uh, estimation, repeated estimation after this. Okay, you plot, uh, this is the plot, you can do for other two variables, it's flexible, you can shade it like this, then for example, you can shade it like this, no problem, and you can copy and paste to, to uh, uh, word, right, then we move forward for another analysis called correlation, how we do correlation, haha, <laughs> simple there, you go view, uh, open selected, certainly in one window, open as a group, and then you go view here, you see there is a, a covariance analysis, right? There's a covariance analysis. So what you want to do, the covariance analysis inside there, you do not want to have the covariance, you want to have the correlation. So click OK. So this is the correlation analysis, a simple correlation analysis to show that how strong the variable are between each other, right? You can do this as a table and uh, I give you example there. In my uh, in these slides, I give you the example. You can do this. Uh, open as a group a covariance analysis, and then uh, click on correlation. Um, this is only for two variable. Let's say this is for three variable, and this is for example. You can have a look of this paper, if you like to. Uh, this paper is actually uh, my paper in one of, and one of my student two thousand and eight published in Journal of Chinese and Pro Foreign Trade Studies, twelve years ago. We look at the. Um, uh, we look at the interdependence of uh, income GDP between China and ASEAN 5 and we use this as a correlation analysis as an informal uh, examination or informal test before the formal test like unit root core integration and so on so we use this to show that how strong are they to link together because the idea was to have interdependent or integration of GDP amongst their variables so it depends on your uh, objective again what you want to do all right so after showing this uh, after showing this right uh, what way should we know next we go the or less so as you have been shown in your uh, uh, econometric class this is what we're going to do the first variable that you choose here the first variable that you choose here is going to be the dependent variable so one two three right the click here Open as a group again, open as a group or straight away open as an equation. Right, there's an option there. <laughs> open as a group equation, but straight away go to open as equation. Uh, I'll show you this shortcut. And this is your variable, your GDP. This dependent variable, your Y. And this is X1, X2, the constant term. Finish. As you can see, maybe uh, not in your econometric class, you see that there are so much other methodology, not just the least square method. Right, there's so much method here. Uh, the higher version of eViews that you have, the more option here. Right, you even have the uh, like co integrating regression, you have this uh, uh, GMM uh, two stage least square, so on threshold estimation ARDL, and the more latest one is this MIDAS. 
MIDAS or Mixed Data Sampling Regression. But anyhow, we, we talk about OLS, so just click OK. So this is the result, right? This is your result from the OLS estimation, uh, the multivariate result. Uh, multivariate result, and click OK. So once you have the result, you check. You check for the R square, T statistic, F statistic, the Bin Watson, and interpret. Right? Um, let me check whether I have a uh, same result as this one. You see, this result and this result. Let's put side by side. Uh -huh. Check one by one. Eh? Check, check. Yep, you see here 2.12, negative 2.12. Yes, this is uh, plus 0 0.9. Yes, this is uh, 40. Yes. We have the same result. This have been estimated 11 years ago. This is estimated today, 16th of October. <laughs> so, so basically, the result do not change. The R square is still there and so on. All right, all right. So, so come back here when you see this uh, result here. You, you, um, and and the slide. Do, do we forget something? Um, how about the functional form? How about the logarithm? Right. You can go back, estimate again with. Uh, double lock or lock linear and so on and so on. But then again, based on what you have done in your econometrics, that we have a method of a CV method, right? A coefficient of variation method to choose the best model that suited the data. Which one are suited the data? Whether it's a linear model, whether it's a lock, linear, linear lock, double lock, or reciprocal. Example, there's five different types of choice of uh, 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 modeling or functional forms that you can choose it, right? And then transform. I already transformed that actually inside this Excel, and then you have to copy paste and re estimate, right? Uh, for example, I mean, I copy paste again here. I choose this back again, uh, copy and come back here. You can delete this thing, no problem, or you can save it in your uh, uh, Microsoft Word, up to you. Here, again, paste. See, you have new variable, uh, new variable there. You can delete this, no problem. Uh, what we need to choose, this one, this one, and this one with uh, logarithm. And compare. Uh, open as an equation straight away, estimates. You get this result, right? Uh, this result supposedly to be as similar as this one, uh, 4.67. Uh, 4.67, as you can see here. Right, 4.67, yes, yeah, 4.67, 4.67, right, and 0. Point, um, right, you can make it smaller, yeah. Aha, uh -huh. you can see this, right? <laughs> so this is what happened with this uh, so-called estimation. So, um, as of now, I, yes, I can show you also, I can show you extra than the, uh, what we have in this, uh, slides is that um, can do the diagnostic test for example let's let, let us do the diagnostic that you have learned in your econometric the first diagnostic that you have done is actually on the residual which is called uh, normality test or the Jacques-Berra test see this is the Jacques-Berra result one right the first one the second one you can do a simple uh, LM test which is the uh, had, uh, for autocorrelation, right? right? You found that from the boost group free serial correlation, you have a problem of autocorrelation. Okay, no problem. Next one, white test for heteroskedasticity. Yes, from this also you shows that use the F statistic, you can have the problem of uh, heteroskedasticity at five percent level. All right, what next? There's three already, you're done. Uh, stability test, you go Ramsey reset. Right, Ramsey reset, there's a lot of results here. Right, the result that you are interested in to see, you can use this uh, F-test. Uh, no problem, using the F-test uh, has been uh, suggested in the econometric cost. 0 0.053, so 5% uh, we do not reject, so you do not have a problem of uh, uh, a specification problem. All right, means that might be double lock might be the suitable model. Okay, and the last one you can try is the Kusum test, and yeah, the Kusum of square. Okay, you can see the plot here is outside the uh, region, so there might be instability happens somewhere around here, 
uh, within the estimation, right? So uh, that short, uh, this short video it shows that uh, this is the um, regression that we do from OLS, and then after that, I repeated. Uh, I mean, uh, repeated back uh, with the linear model and the double log model, and then do some simple diagnostic tests and. Uh, certainly you need some interpretation after that all right so other than that i think um we shall stop here for the chapter two we shall continue on with the more e-views video after this but this is for the or less uh, for time being thank you very much and uh, adios